Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Railroad Corporation. As we're trying to finish up this mission here, I'm um, really just trying to get tools set up for Boston. Uh, right now, we're waiting for $170,000 so we can get the tool factory set up in Springfield. Once we get that set up, we'll be able to start making the tools, selling them to Boston for a pretty reasonably large amount of money. So we're waiting. So trying to get we got ore coming in there. Got some steel there. Um, we do have some lumber to sell. We're, we're getting there. I mean, it's, it's, it's coming. I do want to go ahead and repair you again, I guess. A lot of these are actually needing some quick repairs. Just need the money. Uh, I mean, I guess as we stop spending money on research, then things will be better there. I mean, I could always advance over here and start doing the next. I think I'm going to wait for this one until we get... To the next mission. I think we're, I think finishing up this current train will be enough for this current mission. Anything here we want? Rails, obviously cheaper. Grain, nothing else really jumping out at me. I mean, if rails are cheaper, we are going to be doing a lot more rails here soon. But why not? I need to start getting the rails up to Star, Star, uh, Stratford here. But I just need money. And we just don't have a lot of money coming in. Can we sell... I was going to sell lumber on the open market, but it's not as worth as much. Uh, you can no longer demands wood. Okay, so then we just need to go back to wood, going only to... Uh, to let's get rid of that, and we're just going to make sure the wood only unloads to the lumber. The sawmill. That's fine. That'll get that rolling. Oh, you need... Oh, you don't need wood still. Hmm. Still need 100,000 bucks before I can buy the tool mill. Don't know, guys. I don't know if we're going to get the timing done on this one. I can sell... Sell this lumber here. But it doesn't sell for much. Definitely better to sell it over here. So maybe I just change you back to doing that. I was trying, I wanted to kind of experiment, so I think that's the big thing. So I think maybe we just have, where is it, T5. You're just going to go to, we're just going to keep going to Salisbury. It's a longer trip, but sells for, well, no. And here's the reason I say no. It's more than double the trip, and the price is not necessarily more than double the price. I actually think it is still better to go to Albany, sell it fast. You can make this trip much quicker back and forth and kind of net the same amount for the mileage, basically. Um, just, I mean, we're not far off. We just sell as much as we got just so I can like kind of see how close we are. I mean, now it's worth like nothing. So now, now it's maybe more worthwhile to go to Springfield. Now it is worth more. So we're going to go from there. Add a station. Go to Springfield. And unload lumber there. I think we want to load here. I mean, we could load some mail while we're over here. Because we might as well bring something back. And I probably should have been doing that from between here as well. And unload in Utica. Alright, let's get that going. And at least give us a little bit more purpose here. Would cost us less, which, you know, not a bad thing, but wood's already pretty cheap. Okay. Um, obviously, this one's very unprofitable, just and both of these are because their profit comes later. Still needs 170,000 bucks. We are still way off. All right, so we did get the Hartford development. Nice. We're going to get Albany development here soon, I think. T6 is on its way. Once T6 unloads here, that's actually worth 24000 bucks to us. That's really good. It's going to put us really close to where we need to be. At least I thought it was. Did it not unload? Oh, it's not T6. It's, uh, which one is it? 
Which one is the lumber? T5. T5. T5's there. Okay. So we haven't made it yet. Come on. So close. Of course, just getting this setup is not going to be immediately profitable for us. All right, here comes T5 right there. Oh, you need repairs, my friend. Sorry. Actually, all of you guys probably need repairs. I mean, I could turn on the repair whenever you feel like it type of thing, but I don't know that that's super critical right now. All right, there's, there's enough money to buy the tools, but I just need to make sure we have enough. Once T5 lands, we will we'll buy the tools because we will have... I should get us over 200k, I think. I just want to make sure we don't go too far, you know, below where we need to be. Got to have a little bit of a buffer. Almost 200k. Ooh, I feel like 170, that put us down to 26. Probably can afford to do that. All right, let's just do it. I think we can. So you're going to, oh, we didn't, uh, where is it? There it is. We're going to construct the tool factory here. So instead of selling lumber though, now T5 needs to just transport lumber. We're still good on the on this, but unloading in Springfield is no longer that. You're gonna unload in the tool factory. Cool. And then we do need to get a new train going from Albany to Springfield for the steel that we have, which we have a lot of steel. Need a little bit more money though. I need to be about 50k before I can set up that train, I think. Be 200 grand off of this one right here. That's pretty good. That's the lumber one, yeah. Come on, we need a little more money, guys. Come on. I'm sure there's more lines I could set up. I mean, there's a lot more passenger and, and you know, mail lines that I could be setting up, of course, but. The big long one's probably still worth the while. The longer, the better. I mean, at the end of the day, the further you can go, the better, right? Like that's, I mean, is it? I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, it's the same value per hundred miles, right? So it doesn't really matter in some sense. It's 35K enough. Close to 40K might be enough. Uh, I like the upkeep expense reduction, but uh, let's buy us another locomotive. It's going to be a John Bull. It's going to go to Albany, pick up steel, which is very heavy. I can see an argument for only doing one, but we'll do both. And then we will add station Springfield. And we're going to unload into the tool factory both of those and then while we're here we'll go ahead and load up maybe passengers and mail sure why not we got lots of passengers here let's load in a couple passengers some mail and come back here actually i kind of want the return trip to be a little bit faster we're just gonna do one mail just make it a little bit faster all right let's do that go uh, are you repairing yet? You are not repairing. You're below 50, so let's do that. Some of these are going to get to the point where we have to replace the train, which is going to obviously add some expense. All right, so we're still not making money off this. This is still not a money-making one, right? We we have to add in the Boston one, but we don't have any tools being made yet anyway. So it kind of doesn't matter yet. We're about to drop off. Where's T5? Here comes T5. We're about to drop off our second load of um, lumber. One thing I did not think about is the speed of trains going different directions, because if one train ahead of you is too slow, then that could kind of cause some problems down the road. For now, I'm just going to let it go, but it might be something we need to optimize better later. Like, have like a minimum speed limit. That way, we know that all trains basically will be slowed down by the, you know, whatever trains in front of them, essentially, and make sure that that's always the case. Like, 33 is probably around about where we're putting them anyway at the moment. All right, here comes T5 for the first load of lumber. Obviously, we still need the ore, which is T11. Here it comes. So we're about to start making our first tools. Looks like it takes 50 seconds to make tools. 
getting our first set of tools sold off will be great. All right, let's put the rest of the scientists here, just get that finished up. And I think that's as much research as we're gonna do for right now. I might do a little, the in-between research because that's kind of good for all trains. All right, so we're making our first set of tools. We have enough to make two tools. Which, you know, that's, that's worth, you know, 70,000 bucks. So let's go ahead and get Boston set up here. Very cheap line, actually. And you are going to be a, um, you're just going to be a John Bull. So you're going to go to Springfield and load up. I mean, go ahead and load up like two tools. Yeah, two tools is perfect. So you have to wait a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get it done here in a moment and then go to Boston and unload the two tools. And then we'll go ahead and just load up, I don't know, some passengers and mail to come back. Truth be told, I don't mind this one being a little bit slower just because the tools are probably going to take a little while to go anyway. So that looks good. And let's just set these up. Go that direction and that direction. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that direction. There we go. And then we can start. Once we sell the first load of tools, then I think that's our trigger point to start getting our line going up to Stratford. Probably going through Manchester, actually. Two hundred thirteen days. I mean, it's tight. Uh, we do need to de deliver ten tools. Those are coming. I think we'll get the ten tools done in time. That's T twelve that's gonna be doing that transportation. So yeah, as soon as the first load of tools gets loaded up here in a moment, we might actually have enough money now. Anything here we care about? Not really. Okay. Uh, I mean, other than the upkeep, but that's okay. Let's get. You just start heading up to Manchester. So do that. And we'll go through Manchester. That's 11,000 bucks. Let's get that rolling. Uh, we don't need wheat here. So kind of just pause for a moment. Make sure let's get T12. Okay, we're good there. So just want to make sure T12 was on its way. And then we're going to have you just kind of make your way up to St Stratford here. And uh, I guess we need to build something in Stratford. That's how we're going to make the money here. We have started selling our tools. So tools, I mean, we're good there. Um, so we just need to figure out where we can construct here. That's going to make us some money. Food, I like uh, meat. Get the, get the grain, the wheat to here and get to make the meat. That might make a lot of sense. It's relatively cheap too. Let's get that going. And so let's just get us to train doing that. Uh, so the John Bull... And go to Manchester and pick up some grain. Yeah, four grain looks good. Go to Stratford. Um, and unload a grain. And I might even have you then pick up meat and just come back to Springfield to deliver the meat and just kind of just do this back and forth thing. That actually, we have never done a three station one before. So let's go to Springfield. So we're going to load up in Manchester, not the Manchester, we're going to load up in Stratford meat, however much we can get. I have to wait a little bit, but that's okay. Let's get three, make this a relatively quick little train here. And then we're going to unload in Springfield the meat. And there's really nothing else to grab here because nothing. Now these don't need anything right now. So, as they need more things, we can set those other ones up. All right. All right. Repairs and everything. Yes. Let's repair you. Let's repair you somewhere. Uh, some of these again are starting to get down to the where they're not going to be able to repair that much. But for now, those are all going to be good. All right. Now that we're doing tools, yeah, we got plenty of tools coming through here. This is, this is going to be very profitable, very fast. This bottom one, uh, this wasn't right here. Sorry. The Springfield one's already, the Springfield to Boston one is already heavily profitable. Let's tool sell for a lot. Um, wait a minute. What? Portland. 
Oh, right. We can't sell them here. I mean, it was good to sell them here for a moment, but no. Okay. Um, can't we bring a train off the back here? Kind of, yeah. It's an awkward train. It only needs to be one line. We're not going to be doing a lot here, I think. Let's just get it all the way up to Portland if we can. Can we do it in one fell swoop here? Okay. It's okay that I temporarily did it to Boston. Um, literally, all we're going to do is, I think, change that train to just go to Portland. Not even go to Boston at all. Show it be this one. So instead of Boston, you're going to go to Portland. And I kind of want you to make the return trip quicker. So what I'm probably going to do is have you only load up like one passenger, maybe. And one thing of mail just to make you as fast as possible. I do two passengers in one mail and that would be okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. Actually, currently you're going to have one too many mails, but that's okay. Let me go to T12 and just make sure you temporarily unload the second mail. And then we'll get rid of that. Uh, yeah, safe changes. All right, so that's going to go up through there. That's fine. Um, it's going to take a while. We might actually not time this now because I forgot that that was going to a different place. That's a very long trip. We'll see. Not impossible. And of course, Stratford still needs to kind of grow. There's no growth right now. Once we get our first load of wheat, it should start growing somewhat soon after that. And start having more demands, things of that nature. Might be too late, but we're not going to miss it by much, I don't think. I think we're close. Question mark. I mean, we basically need five trips here, right? Which if I had realized it was Portland, not Boston, it was just, I just didn't look at that. Uh, then I probably would have gotten it, but that's okay. All right, let's come over here and let's just go ahead and research the middle one here because that's going to make all locomotives go faster. And I think it just makes sense to do that. And I'm not sure if I'll up, updo the next train yet. There's a thing here that like makes trains go faster at this point. Uh, up, uh, upkeep, we're not building any more rail lines, so we can actually fire some people related to stuff like that. You don't need that, which does mean we can grab you. And honestly, we could probably just fire all the rail guys. I don't think we're going to need any more right now. So yeah, let's just get rid of all you guys. Yep. Just grab that guy. Uh, grain will cost less. Meat will cost less. Um, I mean, we are buying grain, so why not? We're not doing well though. Okay. So that looks good. All right. Springfield no longer demands lumber. So we were, well, we weren't selling lumber at Springfield. We were just dropping it off at the tool factory. Oh, new land available over here. Nice. Don't need it right now, but good to know. Nice. So we are, are we growing yet? No growth. Oh, it says 590. There's technically growth there, right? Maybe I don't need to do the meat down here. I don't know. I think selling, doesn't selling the meat, like, does that not help? Yeah, population effect, plus 35, right? So it, it does help our population to pick up the meat, doesn't it? Or am I reading that backwards? I feel like it would. Like selling stuff from there, buying, basically, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like that should do something. So we're definitely not going to get all the tools delivered in time. So we're just going to ignore this. I could have, I think, if I'd realized my mistake sooner, but we wouldn't have gotten this one done anyway. So we'll go over the time limit, which is unfortunate, but we'll get the rest of these, which is okay. Got plenty of money. I mean, we could set up more stuff if we need to. Let me check on my trains. Trains are all okay. Um... Uh, 
So what does this do if I do that? Does this always repair? I don't know that we need to always repair. I think we can just kind of hold off a little bit. I might even wait till they go red from now on. Not sure if that matters or not. Yeah, so we're up to 695 there. So yeah. It's 730 now. I think we could have gotten it. We're not missing it by more than like a little bit of time, right? We're definitely going to miss it, but not by miles, I don't think. We do have enough tools to do more delivery. Need more lumber here to get a couple more tools. I thought this one was going to hit 2,000. I'd just go ahead and have this one deliver like a bunch of tools right now, but I don't think it's going to even close to 2,000 yet. I mean, that's interesting, but no. Do I want to start this? We got some time. Not really. I think we're going to hold off on the Jervis. Trafford should be over a thousand soon. Every time it cre creates one of these. It does grow in population, which is pretty cool. Which, again, maybe I just need to do this back and forth. Because I don't think picking up from there... Yeah, I think I just need to go back and forth there. It's not going to matter, because we're not going to finish this one in time. But now that I see it, I'm probably just back and forth here would have made this grow faster. Live and learn. I mean, that's what the whole point of this. Learn some mistakes. Learn how the things are working. Don't build too fast. Uh, some of the population stuff, I can, I can control that a little bit better. So there, I think there's definitely things I'm, I'm learning. Pay more attention to the objectives, things like that. We're still going to be successful. Just could have been slightly more successful. All right, how many tools we got? We got six tools. We actually could actually have you trapped with the rest, the rest right now. But again, this one's still not going to be done. So we might as well wait. And we're still going to get this experience for sure. Yeah, that 365 days. Definitely still going to get the 250 experience there, which is great. Do I just change you to be a back and forth here? I don't know that we need to. I think we're just kind of do your thing. If anything, I might pick up a little bit more wheat, make this little trip a little bit slower. Not that bad. Uh, not that much. Just so you can like get a little bit more of a tick of population. But I think other than that, I think that's actually pretty good. Not meat, uh, wheat. I think, did I say meat? I think it, I meant wheat. <laughs> they rhyme. Uh, that way he can pick up five loads. That'll help this grow a little bit quicker. Ah, see, Stratford now demands things, which is pretty cool. And I think fulfilling the demand, that also, yeah, that's going to help the population as well if we had it, uh, which we don't really. I mean, we can get lumber from Cornwall. And we might as well. We got plenty of money. So let's get lumber from Cornwall. Doesn't mean building a bridge here, but that's okay. And then we'll just get us another little train here. Another John Bull. Go to Cornwall. Pick up a bunch of lumber. Two, three. And then we'll go to Stratford. Unload three. Cool, that works. So we get 30 if we just unload it and sell it, but we get 35 if we actually produce it with a small farm. So it's always better to produce, uh, to supply jobs as opposed to supply grain, which is kind of an interesting thing. All right, a couple of you guys can repair soon. Should be like a thing where I can say, hey, go repair once you get down to a certain level. And maybe the auto repair will just repair when it gets low enough, so to speak. Old Forge, we can get it to grow, but I don't know that we need to right this second. I don't think it's really reason to. Does population increase the speed that things get produced? Or like lower the speed, I should say. 
All right, one more load of tools, tools, which is coming from here at T12. Uh, so we'll get that done here momentarily. We've got plenty of tools to do that. And then you're doing your thing. Strafford's up to over a thousand. Once we get the lumber up there, that'll help. Although it's going to be stuck on this little train line here for a moment, Mr. T. Uh, which one are you? 14 here. Oh, we got a bunch of these. Did I need repairs? T14 is going to Cornwall. Where are you at? Way back over here. So you got a ways to travel. I mean, arguably, we could have made a little bit of a roundabout here so they can go a different direction if they needed to. You don't have a way to get repairs. Springfield to Portland. Okay, let's put it in Springfield, though, because there's a lot of stuff going through here. Broken on the way, really? Do you break? Um, oh, you're just repairing up there. Okay. I guess you break when you... We might need to set up the auto thing. That, that actually kind of makes some sense. Okay. Well, good to know. I can definitely do that. No, I'm not going to do that now because I think we're almost done with this mission. In the future, I could see that being a, a valuable change. Now, now that T14 is up there, we should definitely get some better growth here in Stratford. This will be a quick little little back and forth. Oh, we did finish. I think it got to 2000. Oh, the tools finished and we never finished. I should have delayed the tools. Okay, I did not realize that was that that makes sense because it's gray. It was an optional. So I did cost ourselves 250 here because I definitely could have gotten Stratford development up. So that's another another learning experience. I need to make sure I get the optionals done before I finish the final of the other one which is easy enough for us to do. All right, well, I mean, it's still not bad. Cool. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will put some more stuff in here, probably some more kind of value-based things, things like that. I think we definitely learned a lot. I mean, this is my... I did a, all of these last four episodes in the, la in the same session. So for me, I think I learned a lot of things from that mission. Um, things I can definitely improve on going forward, but we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.